Hello and welcome to Craft the World, where we are digging towards the ants here. It will take us a bit of time, but we will get some valuable battle experience. And we won't have to worry about them being there anymore. It is currently raining quite heavily because we opened up a Pandora's box last time and uh, it made it rain for a day straight. So uh, we're dealing with that. Flooding the whole underground here. Well, not exactly the whole underground, just parts of it. Let's go and see what's in this darkness over here. And how are we doing? Still a ways to go down here. <laughs> ah, of course, because the attack command can't be fulfilled. It's, uh, it's going to, uh, cancel it automatically there's gold and a guardian and wolves are hungry oh the tables are empty fish stew Apple pie. It's also night time. And we have reached the ants. And down here. Let's, um. Is it just a tiny little room? Yeah. Let's get going towards the left, maybe. We'll make us a nice little path down here. There's quite a bit of water there, but the mages are managing. And the one with the low health is going to bed. Lovely. Speaking of beds, I think we need to have more of them. We currently have 15 dwarves. I just want to make sure that everybody has a bed. Oops, that was too close there. And as soon as that is put in place, we can put one on top of it. Ah. 
Let's shear some sheep. If I can catch them. There. We'll shear a couple of them. Hello. You've made it all the way over here. Apparently we have defeated the ants. I would kind of like to see what's over there to the left. We have completely flooded that there. Where was the guardian? Ah, here we are. Maybe let's make a portal to speed things up a little. We've got gold and coal. And we need to be mindful of the sand there if we want to dig downwards. Because as we have seen, it is going to fall if we dig underneath it. There, grabbing some nice resources. The water is of course going to flood into here once we dig through that tile up there. Uh, not too bad. I guess we'll have to go through the sand now to make a way into the guardian room. Must remember to keep building the ladder. We ought to soon be able to get to the Guardian. That'll be, I think, the third Guardian we will have defeated. Wow, that dwarf actually didn't drown or anything, even though he was underwater. Maybe he had the swimmer skill or something. There we go, we'll put a portal there. And I guess we uh, might put a portal to the other side of the skeleton as well. So that if any of our people are on that side, they won't have to go through the skeleton to get back home. And it'll soon be done. We got the fourth portal part recipe. And I guess we could remove some of these things. Okay. 
I'm loving our new uh, bigger backpacks. And oh, we have those, those uh, beetles spawned over there. They may cause us some trouble, but I don't think it'll be too much for us to handle. We are pretty well equipped at this point. Let's go see what's over here on the left. Ah, once again. Now we have a bigger zombie over there. They do like to try and dig through under there. Let's shear some more sheep. And um, nobody's doing anything over here. Oh, I guess they can't, can they? Because there's so much water and yeah. Well, I'll think of uh, some other way through there. This is Mithril down, down there on the uh, left. Um, it is kind of the uh, next tier metal after gold. We won't be needing the mithril yet. I don't think we are quite there yet on the tech tree. But uh, we could get it for future use. Yeah, I think we're on the silver tier currently with the, uh, the, um, equipment drowning. Oh, right, because there's water everywhere. This pond has kind of, uh, grown a bit more than I wanted it to thanks to the whole day of rain we are digging into the mithril here let's continue this ladder downwards see what we can find get this mithril as well a warrior's book I'm going to put that to use right away. Who do we want to make a warrior? Maybe a uh, drong. Would you like to be a warrior? We also have a major's book. Gonvor could be a mage. I mean he already has the hat. I think we're going to make Gonvor a mage. Yeah. Ah, uh, that means we are going to need to give him mage's equipment. 
let's um let's make some of that equipment to give him oh yeah we have these new lightning ball cartridges especially powerful thunderbolt bow cartridge that deals damage to more enemies cool and thunderbolt bow essence of lightning what's that we only have one and uh where do we get more of that i think did we get that off a guardian or something maybe well one of our archers is going to have a very special bow. Wizard stuff. Let's make some of these. And special arrows for the archers. Silver arrows. I think I'm going to just make the fire arrows though. We need the silver ingots for other things currently. Yeah, like silver helmets. We already have one mage's armor. Let's just make boots and the uh, hat now right gunvor there you go and as soon as our people manage to make those fire staffs all the mages can have better weapons too. Ah, there's an archer. He already has a silver armor though. This one doesn't. Gordain, here you go. A better armor that doesn't have a huge, um, a huge agility penalty. Speaking of agility penalties, let's make some more silver helmets. Well, we need more silver ingots first. But the silver helmets, uh, don't have a huge agility penalty. So, our archers could use them. And of course, they will be good for our warriors too. They wouldn't be bad for the mages either. But I do kind of want the mages to have that special armor of their own. Because it increases their... A uh, mage skill. Alright, dwarves are hungry again. We'll feed them grilled meat and fried eggs. And some punch. There we go. And I guess we could make some more of these. Our chickens have been laying some eggs again. And maybe more apple pies as well. More flour, huh? Well, can do. 
I think. Yeah, we just need more grains. Because we also use grains to grow wheat from. So let's make quite a few grains. So that we can both make flour and grow some more wheat. Takes three grains for one portion of flour. We'll make 20. And then that'll leave us plenty of grain for, um, for planting or sowing. Now, ah, there it is. Let's sew it. Just so that we can keep uh, making more flour and baking some delicious things. Hmm, I don't think they can get down there because of the water. I think we'll need to make a way from here to there. And, uh, she has, um, blocked herself in, it seems, down there. Well, we can fix this. We'll just have her dig herself out of there. Night time. tunnel from here to the left. There we go. So we're able to get that mithril. Let's get some more fish stew made. I think the apple pies and the fish stew will um, hold us over for a while. Let's also get the mithril over here. Wonder what's here? Nothing? Looks like nothing. Maybe we should still tunnel into there and find out. Hmm. Uh, 
I think we need to make some more torches so that we can keep putting the lights on as we explore. Now, where were we? Advanced fortifications and basic alchemy. We could, I think, make some more elixirs. That'll get us quite a bit of the way towards completing it. There's a lot of coal there. Under attack. Hello. I wonder if we should, um, get that coal and those coal golden apples. We could get those. The elf should be friendly. I think she's friendly. Probably like the uh, only, um, the only kind of um, non-dwarf character that is friendly. Let's get the crystal too. And the clay, I guess. Yeah, she's friendly. She's a healer. I think I do want to dig through here though. Get the resources and at the same time see what's down here. Is it like a very long and complicated way from our base to over here? Hmm. Well, not really. Not very long and complicated, at least. People have also started to dig towards the left there. Good. Oh, the battle was over before I could even see it. Let's see, do I need to put more ladders up? I guess it could be handy to have a piece here. And then we could just uh, do that.
maybe this too. I just want to make it as easy as possible and as safe as possible for our dwarves to uh, explore here. I guess it's pretty easy and safe now. And um, it's no longer raining. So I guess we could consider um, seeing if we can drain the water out of um, out of the places where it has gather gathered, but where we don't want it to gather. Oh, we're about to have a monster portal. There it is. Where is this? Oh, some of them are going over here, huh? Well, that'll distract them from coming over to our uh, base. But there's plenty enough of them coming over here and uh, goblins too. Hopefully the low health people realize to uh, get to bed. Alright. The big guy over there is um, not really an immediate threat. He's just uh, standing around there or jumping around there. I guess we could see if we can defeat him. Pandora's box. Hello. Well, we could see what's in here. Is anybody going to come over? Oh, we're still fighting over here. Did a bit of the work and then a zombie uprising. Um, it seems to have further incensed the evil here. We have some unpleasant days in store for us. Okay, it doesn't say how many days. Well. There are some new graves here, and that's where the zombies spawn from at night. So I guess we could um, get rid of the graves. Some are underwater though. And I guess zombies aren't really much of a threat to us anymore. But I guess we could still get rid of the graves. At least the ones that are very close to our base. <laughs> Let's see if anybody can come over and do that.
Oh, hello. Some potions are being made. Oh, the wheat is ready to be harvested. Let's get that. She is some more sheep. And I guess this is a, as good a place as any, as good a place as any to save the game for now. We'll continue from this point next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.